stack of 12 by 12 pattern paper, but don't know where to start? Would you like to turn that paper into a set of stunning note cards with minimal effort? Today, I'm gonna to show you a couple of quick and easy ways to turn each sheet into multiple cards. Perfect for batch making. These ideas will have you crafting a whole collection in no time. Hey everyone, it's Lean from coloradolean.com. Welcome back to the craft room. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love pattern paper. You could say I have an addiction to buying it, but not using it because I have many more packs than just these three. My problem with pattern paper going all the way back to my scrapbooking days was I don't want to cover it up. It is too pretty. I bought it because it was pretty. So today we're going to dial things back a little bit in our card making and I'm going to drop back to the basics and show you the best way to use pattern paper if you don't want to cover it up. Now there are other channels out there that will use pattern paper and they use it perfectly. Call me Crafty Al with her sheet load of cards. I love it. I've used them. Just Crafts with her card making templates and her paper busting videos. Fantastic. I've tried them. I use them. I like them. May May Made It has videos where she will take a collection and she will make as many as, as many cards as she can, as many tags as she can. And she also has a video out to make the most of hard to use papers which is a fantastic video. I will definitely link all those channels down below. But today, let's just make it simple. Now, all of these that I'll be using today are Recollections brand. Um, this one is probably one of few that I have that are double-sided, which will definitely come in handy for today. Um, this one was so pretty I had to buy it last year. Have I used it? Nope. Do I have plans to use it? Yes. Am I going to do those plans? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Today we're definitely going to use one sheet out of this beautiful paper pack. The Southern Blues pack. I've had this one longer, probably... Two years? I don't know. Have I used it? Um, I think I did. I think I used two sheets out of here. If I didn't actually make anything with it, I pulled two sheets out to do a sheet load of cards template with. I don't know. Today I'm definitely going to use one sheet. <laughs> so that'll be good. So with minimal supplies and a piece of 12 by 12 pattern paper, we are going to make some beautiful cards that actually highlight the pattern. So let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? All right, let's start this off with this beautiful Autumn Blaze Recollections paper pad. And I have two pages marked in here. Um, one for another project, and then I have this stunning page for today's project. Um, there are two of, oh, I'm sorry, three of each pattern in this paper pack. So that's handy if you have a project or a card design, or if you have more than one project in mind. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to bring in our Tim Holtz and Tonic Studio Rotary Paper Trimmer. If I haven't told you already, I love this thing. It cuts beautifully. So out of this piece of paper, we are going to have six cards. And we're just going to make some pretty simple cuts. The only thing we need to keep in mind for any of these is the direction of the pattern. 
Now, in this instance, it doesn't matter because our leaves are going all different directions. Um, but I'm going to keep it in the direction it was in the paper pad. Now, our typical card bases are four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to cut this paper at five and a quarter. No, that's not right. I'm going to cut this paper at four inches wide. I'm glad I caught that. So I will cut three strips that are four inches wide. Let's see. Now the best thing about this particular trimmer is you can have your paper up here at the top or you can have it down at the bottom because there are ledges for both. Um, I'm going to just put it up at the top. And I'm just going to check to make sure this last piece is four inches. Um, I don't know why, but Recollections is notorious for having a little bit extra on each side. Um, not in this case, though. And now I'm going to cut this at five and a quarter inches tall. Because this is a 12 by 12 paper, um, there's going to be extra paper either on the top or the bottom or in the middle. You can decide how you want to do that. Um, because this is a fall theme, I'm going to take the extra off of the bottom because I don't care about the green color. So I'm going to line this up and I have all three pieces on here. And I'm going to put it at five and a quarter and make my cut. And then I will line these up. And again, I will put this in at five and a quarter and make my cut. Now, these are still really pretty. Um, I may cut them down a little bit more and put them on the inside of my cart. I don't know, we'll see how I feel. But for the moment, let's set that aside. My card bases are 110 pound white recollections cardstock. I have them cut down to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch tall card. And for this first panel, it is beautiful like this. However, if you'll notice, all the leaves on this panel seem to be going down. Um, I don't like that, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn it over. Now, I typically use score tape, but today I'm going to use my Scotch, Scotch ATG gun. And I'm just going to run my adhesive on the back. And then I'm going to line my card up. Now I did have to trim some of these card bases to straighten them up. Um, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I just got a little crazy. All right, and here are our first six incredibly beautiful, incredibly simple note cards. Now, because these have the gold foil on them, you could definitely call this good and say, okay, we're done. Or you could take a simple sentiment and match it up with your card base color and then just put it on there. And there is a simple just because card. All right, for our next set of simple cards with pattern papers, I'm going to use a page out of the Petite Floral Paper Pack from Recollections. I have chosen this really pretty paper here. And again, we're going to bring in our rotary trimmer. Let's see, I'm going to have to open it up for this one. Okay. 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off this strip up here. So let's go ahead and line this up at 12 inches. And since I'm sitting down, I'm going to line it up here at the bottom. So this pattern paper doesn't really have a direction to it, but the majority of these leaf sprigs are going up. So I will have this in this direction. So I'm going to cut this into three inch strips and then I'm going to make three inch squares. All right, so I'm going to line this up and just so I don't make mistakes, I'm going to cut this at six inches and then I'll trim it down to the three inches. And that'll just help me out a little bit. All right, now we have our three inch squares and there are 16 of these squares. So we are going to get 16 cards out of one piece of pattern paper. Now I did do some additional trimming before I started the video and I wanted to have them the same color, but I am using a pack of rec I'm sorry, I'm using a pack of basil cardstock and I don't know, I, I think I probably already used the extra sheet that I had in this color. So I've got this really pretty corally pink and then I have this light green. So it's just going to be super simple. We're going to take one three by three card, figure out which way we want it to go. These squares are cut to three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then we will line it up like that. I have a mat that is cut to five and a quarter by four. And I have a piece of white recollections textured cardstock that is cut to five inches by three and three quarter inches. So what we're going to do, and I'll just line this up on the card for you. And then we will put that there. So let me go ahead and put this one together for you. And again, I'm going to use my ATG gun. Now you can put this wherever you like. I'm going to place it up here at the top. You could put it in the middle for some variation. You could even put it at the bottom if you wanted to. So I'm going to line this up. I'm going to try and get as even as I can on all three sides. And now let's put this on our card. And there's the first card. Now with this green color. Um, if you've been with me for any length of time, you know, I don't like green, um, but I can appreciate it. And what I can do is I could put it on like this and it would, it would be pretty. It's a little matchy matchy for me, but because this is a double sided paper, I could perhaps turn it over to the yellow. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do that because it's a little bit too close. If it was a brighter yellow, definitely if it was a darker green, like if it was this dark green in the center of the leaves, that would be beautiful on the back of this. But let's just go ahead and we'll make up this particular shade. Okay, now we just need to figure out, are we going to do the same? Are we going to slide it down in the middle? Oh, I think for these, I'm going to put them in the middle, or at least some of them. I think that's a, a nice little change that we could make. And then again, let's see which direction our leaves are going. Let's 
turn it this way. Maybe I can line it up a little easier. Now I should be using my centering ruler for this, but ha, surprise, I can't find it. All right, and here are our two versions of this same idea with the same pattern paper. Um, for a sentiment, you could, again, stamp your sentiment. Um, I would probably use something a little bit narrower than this, but you could easily trim this down and place it on your card. Um, I don't know if I could do this on this textured card, but you could just stamp your sentiment in the white spot and that would be beautiful. You could even do that on this card here. You could stamp it on top or you could stamp it on the bottom. Just the possibilities are endless. Now I do have some scraps of the cardstock. And again, I could trim this down and I could add a little tag or something or a little strip of cardstock on the inside to kind of doll it up a little bit. You know, the choice is yours. But this right here is 16 very simple, very beautiful note cards. For our last set of simple cards with pattern paper, I'm going to use a page out of the Southern Blues paper pack from Recollections. Um, I'm going to use this piece right here. Now for a scrapbook page, this could be a incredibly beautiful with a large picture, a few smaller ones. Um, with card making, I'd probably just use this bottom piece down here. But let me show you what I did. Um, I had already cut my paper and without turning the camera back on, I made the cards. <laughs> so I will just show you the finished product. Um, I'm going to line this up like the pattern paper was. So there's our pattern paper. And because there was so little in the center, um, I did cut the extra pieces out of the center rather than the top or the bottom, which would have cut off the majority of my pictures. Um, and again, these three little pieces can be trimmed up and placed inside. For the sentiments, I will use my just because example. And, you know, all you have to do is just put that on there. And that is a beautiful card. It would even look amazing on a card like this. Um, now, because there's no flowers on this, on these two cards, if you wanted to, and if you had them, you could die cut and color some three-dimensional flowers, and you could add that to these cards, and that would be beautiful, just to bring these up just a little bit. Um, I cut the paper at five and a quarter by four. If you wanted to cut it at five by three and three quarters, um, you could put a mat back here. Maybe pick out the little darker blue that's in there, the darker green, maybe a yellow. And that would add an extra touch of elegance to these cards. Uh, for this centerpiece, I decided to put it at the bottom so that these three flowers were going up. Um, it doesn't really matter. I think either way, that is going to be a beautiful card. And there you go. Three sets of simple cards using pattern paper and minimal supplies. All these cards were so easy to make and they turned out beautifully. Personally, I'm not going to add any sentiments right now. I'm going to wait until I know what each card will be used for. If you wanted to get these cards away as a set, 
I would suggest stamping and cutting a variety of sentiments, adding double-sided adhesive to the back like score tape, and then including them with the cards. That way the recipient can add them as needed. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I put up the next video. Until then, have a great day, you guys. Bye.